The Dornier Val marked aviation history with records that defied the limits of the possible. It traversed long distances, flew at impressive altitudes and proved itself outstanding in endurance flights. This legendary seaplane remains a testament to man's courage and ingenuity in tackling the challenges of the skies. In 1925, Roald Amundsen and five members of his team used two DOJ aeroplanes in their attempt to reach the North Pole. They landed at the north point 87 degrees 44, marking the most northerly point reached by an aeroplane up to that time. One of the aircraft suffered irreparable damage. After more than three weeks of work, Amundsen and his crew prepared a runway on the ice, shoveling 600 tons of ice and consuming only 454 grams of daily food rations. Eventually, the six crew members boarded the remaining DOJ, and despite cracks in the ice, they managed to take off and return triumphantly to Norway after being left for dead. The Dornier DOJ was better known as Val, whale in German, was a high-wing monoplane seaplane, modern for 1922 when it made its first flight. After the First World War, the terms of the Treaty of Versailles strictly limited aircraft construction in Germany, so Dornier was forced to have the DOJ built mainly under license, in Italy, Spain, the Netherlands and Japan. The Dornier Val was used both in civil aviation, operating as a scheduled seaplane for transporting passengers and cargo for the airlines of the time, and in the military, mainly as a seaplane carrier. Pilots sat in an open cockpit in the bow. Behind was an enclosed cabin that could be filled with cargo, mail, or a maximum of 12 passengers. It had two 355 horsepower Rolls-Royce Eagle IX engines, mounted in tandem, one engine in a pulling configuration and the other in a pushing configuration, giving it a top speed of 180 km per hour and a cruising speed of 140 km per hour. It was produced in several 10- and 8-ton variants often equipped with a variety of engines. In January 1926, Major Ramon Franco completed the crossing of the Plus Ultra between Spain and South America. He left Palos de la Frontera, Spain, on the 22nd of January and arrived in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on the 26th of January, after making four stopovers for refueling, the 10,270 km journey was completed in 59 hours and 39 minutes, the event appeared in most of the world's leading newspapers. Germany sought the fastest possible method of delivering mail from Berlin to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. In 1930 a letter took 14 days to arrive. Lufthansa was able to reduce this time to 9 days, thanks to the seaplane's DOJ the specifically Atlantic stretch started from Bathurst Gambia and arrived at Brazil's Fernando de Norona Island. As it was not possible to make the Atlantic crossing non-stop, support ships were used to act as ocean refueling stations. The Val landed alongside the support ship, and were loaded on board with a crane, refueled and set off again by means of a catapult. The ocean crossing took about 13 hours. The aircraft carried 100,000 letters. Also in the military version, the crew of two to four people traveled in an open cockpit near the bow of the hull. There was a machine gun emplacement in the bow, and one or two in the center of the ship. The main military users were Spain and the Netherlands. Like Junkers, Dornier became famous for its outstanding commercial metal aircraft. The Val excelled at a time when seaplane transport was the norm. It remained viable until the late 1930s, and became the cornerstone of Lufthansa's mail service to South America. However, the 13th of May 1938 marked the advent of a new era with the introduction of the Blohm and Voss Ha 139, 
a more modern four-engined seaplane suitable for ocean crossings, which marked the end of the Dornier Val era. <laughs>